it's Nikki. So today is a special day and it's a day that I have been waiting for for a long time. Miss Natita from Natural Dane. If you don't know who she is, you've been living under a rock. I will link her channel down below. Anyways, we get to comment on each other's channels and it occurred to both of us that we tend to choose a lot of the same patterns, right? But we end up going in wildly different directions with them. And I think that's one of the great things about sewing is that it's you're creating whatever is up in your head, right? So you and the same person could pick up the same thing and just maybe you have the same fabric and you just go completely different directions with it and both of them are amazing, right? So we got to chit chatting about that and um, we decided to do a little bit of a collaboration. So what we ended up with was we were gonna take two patterns and we were each gonna make are whatever we wanted from those two patterns. So, and they are McCall's 7430, right here, and Vogue 8825, here. So, basically, what we did was, uh, I am going to, let's see, am I gonna talk first? I'm gonna talk first. I'm going to talk specifically about McCall 7430 first. Now, I set out to make view C, but I cut out, so, okay, so here's view C, and this has, like, um, the contrasting and the stripey and, you know, and then, um, and it has a straight hemline. Now, what I ended up doing was this, but I originally cut out this curved hemline. And I did make a test garment. So, um, oh, I'm sorry, my lighting is terrible. It's very gray and rainy out today. I have no natural light happening, but this is getting done. So, I did make a test, and that, ooh, that I did not put on video because I, I mean, it's, I didn't um, really make much change to it. So, I did it in this green ponte. It's like a textured, like a like a twill textured ponte. And this was just something I got from a Fabric Mart, come on, Fabric Mart mystery bundle. And I just did it all in the same thing. And I did do this curved hem. Now, uh, it fit and I hadn't actually done the hems on the dress. So, so two things happened. The first thing that happened was I went ahead and it fit fine, so I cut out the pieces to make my final version, right? And then I went and hemmed it, and I also I hemmed this one because I thought, oh, there's nothing wrong with that. I'll just I can wear that, and so I hemmed it, and everything was not fine with the hem. But the there was another thing that happened as well. So let's talk about this hem first. This curved hem is a nightmare. I it. Nope, <laughs> it just didn't go well. So what I'm gonna end up doing is, this one I'm probably actually gonna cut off and make um, just a turtleneck out of it. Um, just because I, d I don't have um, a whole lot of need for like super bodycon dresses at the moment. <laughs> Which brings me to the second thing that happened. So we decided on this way, way, way back in like, I think it might've been September? Um, it was a while ago. And in September, I was still pretty svelte from summer. And then I, things, you know, fall came. I mean, we all know what happens when fall comes. That's why January is when we make resolutions because we screw everything up in fall. So I have also gained super worried about it. I'll fix it in January. But for now, the end result like was based on what I weighed in September, which is stupid. Like I'm an idiot. I knew I knew Thanksgiving was coming. So, but I did it anyways. 
and it still fits like I can get in and out of it now this whole video is gonna heavily involve um, Spanx undergarments uh, locking everything into place for me so I'm gonna insert uh, so before I insert the video clip I'm gonna tell you so so this is the final dress right sneak peek and I am wearing um, a full-on Spanx like bodysuit as well as a pair of leggings with this right so look we gotta do what we gotta do I like this dress and I'm gonna put it on right but but accommodations need to be made for my butt so yeah so here is the clip of me wearing call 7430 view C What'd you guys think? I think it turned out pretty well. Um, it is a smidge tight at the moment, but like I said, nothing I can't cure by February or March. Um, so yeah, but I like it. I like it and it's very, it's like Ponty. Um, I think all of this fabric came from Fabric Mart. No, this, um, this gray came from Vogue Fabrics, um, stand at the Sew Expo. Um, but the black came from Fabric Mart. So, yeah, it was very simple to put together. I did, so with the contrast, I was hoping to do, I could have done better matching my line across the front. I'm a little bit off on the, at the shoulders, but, um, no one's gonna care about that. I don't. <laughs> So that was McCall's 7430. I cannot wait to see what Natita is doing. Um, I am sure she's knocking it out of the park with something fabulous uh, as she does. So next up, and this, I'm not gonna lie, this is my favorite. Um, this is Vogue 8825. It's a very easy Vogue pattern. And I went with the full length view, which is B. And that's the only difference between the views A and B is just one of them is a tunic length. And then this does come with pants, but I think I've mentioned before that anytime there's a pattern with a dress that I like that has some pants with it, um, I just, there is absolutely no way in hell that I'm gonna fit in these pants, right? So this is um, the 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 size set and my pants I have to buy the um, larger size set because I wear like a like a 18 at the waist and a 20 at the hip um, for um, pattern or patterns of course patterns uh, for big four patterns so yeah so pants are that's not part of my life ever so but Yes, I love this dress. And you have seen me wear this dress before. This is my final version, but this is my test version. Now, you may have noticed when I did the um, collaboration with Viv, I was wearing this dress. And that's why neither one of us said what we were wearing because I didn't want to ruin the fun. You know what I mean? I, I had, I, it just completely lost my, like went out of my head that I should not wear that because then we can't say what we're wearing. Or at least I couldn't and Viv was kind enough to humor me and not tell you guys about her delightful outfit which she made. So yeah, but here it is. So you'll recall that I've worn this before and now I didn't realize like after I saw the video of us, I realized how busty it made me look. 
Like, I was like, good lord, I got boobs everywhere. But I'm mad about it. <laughs> so, yeah, so, um, I also noticed, like, this has a very, this has a flat front. And I also noticed in that video that um, you could clearly tell that I had a morning breakfast of Taco Bell. So, but hey, whatever. Girls gotta eat, right? Anyways, so yes. And I, so this is um, some of the mystery bundle fabric again. So nothing I was really in love with, but I ended up liking the outcome of this. So I have worn this out before and I really enjoy it. Now, um, I'm going to insert the video of me wearing it here. Je vivais comme un loup, manquant de volupté, errant dans ses souterrains oubliés. J'avançais sans arrêt, tombais épuisé. Quelle sombre histoire ce monde a exploré Je bouffais, tu remblais Marchais quand il fallait Je dormais là où j'étais Allongé sur la pierre Ok, so that is my final version. Now this, ooh, this, this is also from Vogue Fabrics, but this one I ordered. Um, I also get their swatch catalog in the mail. And this is, I think I actually saved this thing. 100% uh, navy cotton rand jer knit jersey twill blue solid. Um, this was six bucks a yard. And it's got a sheen to it. You see that? Like the, um, like the shine you're seeing coming off of it. Is, is like in real life. And so that's why, so this, the, I love it in a print. I love it in a solid. Um, I thought since I already had like kind of like a daytime version of this dress that maybe this could be more of a nighttime version. That's why, um, so in the in the video with this one, I think I wore it with leggings and boots and I thought that looked pretty cute for, you know, going out and chatting with Viv. And then um, this version though, I styled it in the video with um, red heels. Now, I mean, I think it could go either way. I think it would look just as great with black boots, but I thought if I was going to step it up for like evening time, yeah, a red heel would look really nice with this. And it did, if I may say so myself. Now, about the pattern. I did make some changes to this and my room is in disarray, so let me find my book. One moment. Okay, I have my notes. So, the first thing I wrote down was that I needed to narrow the sleeve because I didn't want all the volume that you see here. And then I just went ahead and didn't do that. <laughs> and it's fine. Like, I didn't know if I'd be into this level of poof in the sleeve, but um, it looks fine. Like, it doesn't bother me at all. It doesn't get... And it's got a really long cuff on it. Um, so, um, it doesn't seem to get in my food and stuff, um, which I like. And, yeah. So, I'm digging that. And then, um, what else do I have? I cut a size 16 in the skirt. And I cut a size 12 in the bodice. And what I did to make them match up at the waist seam was I widened the dart um, on the skirt. Because... I thought that would also help me with my giant butt. I don't know if that's how darts work, but I feel like <laughs> uh, so that's what I did. Um, yeah. So, and then they, and then the other thing. So I didn't think this through really. Um, basically, so sixteen in the skirt, um, and then. I widened the dart to match the 12, like I measured, um, how the hell did I even come up with that measurement? Oh, I measured um, how many sizes bigger the size 16 skirt was from the 12 on the edge, and then I just added that much spread out over the darts. But what I think I ended up doing was adding too much to the darts but it somehow all worked out perfectly because 
so that would have made the skirt meet up with a smaller size than the top. But what I ended up doing, because this is a wrap over, is when I was doing the wrap part, I completely ignored um, where the markings were to, to cross the wrap over. And I just crossed it over and clipped it um, where it looked and felt the best on me. And then um, it didn't occur to me at the time to check and make sure that it matched with the skirt. Um, but it did, so I'm going to call it a win and not think too much more about it. So, beware that it may not work that way for you if you want to do it. I don't know how I just, I think this was one of those like lucky things, but I don't know. Anyways, I freaking love this thing. And it's comfortable. It feels like secret pajamas. I am currently needing to wear Spanx at the moment because this is a slimmer skirt on it. Um, and I have been really enjoying my holiday season and will continue to do so until it's over. And I refuse to feel bad about that. So, Spanx it is. Um, yeah. So, um, the only thing I did notice is that, so there's a center back seam on the top part and there's a center back seam in the skirt, right? And so the goal is always to make them match. Now, I'm going to get up and show you. So, I don't know if you can see here, but like, mine don't quite match. But... There's a belt there, so no one needs to know about that. Okay, yeah, so that's what I've got. Um, I would say out of the two of these patterns, I think I will get about a thousand times more use out of um, these two than I will the green and the, well, maybe the green turtleneck, or not turtleneck, maybe the green one, if I cut it off and make it into a top. Um, and I think that the black and gray is going to be a great date night outfit um, once I end up looking less like a pop can of biscuits in it, um, which, you know, I see in my future um, maybe being a smaller size. So um, it's entirely possible that I will feel more comfortable in it later but that time is not now. And if that time never gets here, um, I may, you know, cut it off into a top. Maybe. But um, I have the utmost confidence in myself to get my life together. Okay. So that is, yeah, that's that. Uh, I will say on the McCall's, um, this neckband, like if you make this out of um, something really like um, like that has more give, like more stretch to it, because that was Ponty, which Ponty is stretchy and it recovers, but it doesn't stretch that far, right? So it's fine, but if you have a big head, it's going to be a struggle to get into that thing, even even without having the turtleneck. Like I I don't have like big head problems, but but. Even I, you know, I was like, man, if my head was any bigger, <laughs> there's no way I'd be making it through there. So if you got a big old head, either make it with something that stretches a little bit more or put a zipper in it because it's not going to happen. It's just not. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. I think that's it for me. And like I said, I, I'm dying to know what Natita thought of this dress because I am in love with it. I hope she loves it too. I think it's going to look absolutely stunning on her. So, as does everything that she makes. She, oh, I hope she makes it out of a print. I don't know. I don't know. I'm so excited. Okay. All right. So, thank you to Natita for doing this with me. Go check out her channel. Like I said, I will link it down below. And let me know what you think of the dresses and which one do you like better. Um, I am curious. I mean, I don't know which one. Maybe I'm wrong. There's been times where I've been wrong. Not very often. 
Actually, it's, it's quite often. Okay. All right. I'm done. Bye!